and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, October the 23rd, 2019, and this is episode 3142. My name is Bruce Turner. So glad to have you with us on this midweek edition of Morning Manna. Today's episode, I believe it's going to bless you, is titled Three for Two. Stay tuned. So have you ever been driving down the highway and you pass maybe a McDonald's and you see a Something that catches your eye. Two for four, right? Two egg McMuffins for four dollars. Or maybe it's lunchtime and it's two quarter pounders with cheese for five dollars. Or two Whoppers for five dollars. I mean, that's going on in our town right now. And you say, you know, this is really great. This is a tremendous blessing. I'm going to be able to uh, get more for my money. But I've got a better and greater, deeper, broader blessing for you from an amazing promise in God's Word. It happened to be the verse of the day in the YouVersion Bible app. Listen, if you don't have the YouVersion Bible app on your smartphone, why not? I mean, amazing devotional content, um, just, you know, so many different translations and reading plans. Anyway, today's verse of the day is found in Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4. Listen to what it says. By humility and the fear of the Lord, that's the two, (laughs) are riches and honor and life. That's the three. Three for two. How's that sound? Riches and honor and life for two things humility, and the fear of the Lord. Now, only God could teach such great wisdom <laughs> in 14 words. Here are two conditions for three of blessings. Three for two. And listen, if you're wise, you'll grasp each of the five aspects of this simple promise. Humility is the first condition. It's thinking correctly of yourself. It admits that you're a sinner, that you don't have all the answers, and with God's, without God's help, you can't do anything well or right. It's proven by taking correction, saying you're sorry, avoiding public praise, serving others quietly, being reserved publicly, those types of things. Humility. The fear of the Lord is the other condition. This is reverently seeking to honor God in all you do. It's just, it's identified by the desire that you have for, for the word, for uh, messages, for righteousness, and for how you react and disdain sin. The fear of the Lord. Now, what about the blessings? Riches are the first. Sometimes these are financial blessings, but there are often other things as well. Uh, there are many things greater than money in the bank. Spiritual blessings are here. If you're disappointed or unmoved by heavenly riches, you have neither humility nor the fear of the Lord, and you don't understand what real wealth is. Honor is the second blessing. A humble person who fears the Lord will grow in favor with God and men. That's the way Jesus lived his life. The great God honors those who honor him. A person who fears the Lord will be honored by others for their conduct, for their graciousness, for their righteousness. And then life. Life is the third blessing. The senses in which life is meant here include things that really cannot be described. But scripture does mention an abundant life, a good life, a joyful life, a peaceful life, a productive life, an extended life, and of course eternal life. You have never read 14 words that offer you so much for so little. What will you do with this promise? Listen to it again. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Father, thank you 
for this three for two, this amazing promise, Lord. Help us today not to be thinking so much about the blessings, but thinking about the conditions. So help us, Lord, to exude humility in our life today and to have such reverential awe and respect and fear of you that it will make a difference in how we live. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address is bruceturner at gmail.com. You can follow me on Facebook. Just do a search for Blue Ridge Bruce. That's how you'll find me there. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.